Hi guys, it's Max from Production Hut. Today we're making lo-fi speed garage like Liam Moore. This is what it sounds like. The track is quite unique and not a sign I've heard much before. It's super simple, but it sounds really good. If you watch this full video, by the end, you'll be able to make something very similar. Firstly, we're gonna need some drums. You can use any drums for this. If you're interested in buying some drums packs, check out my UK Garage Drums Pack. It's available on my website and has tons of sick loops and one shots. Firstly, you're gonna need a kick on every beat. Then you need to layer it with some claps. I've used three separate layers, so it helps me fill out all of the frequencies in the mid range. You then want an open hat. Make sure the mid is very short as you want it to be really quick and snappy. We're gonna layer it with a shaker top. And then another top. and then a shaker loop on top of that. And then lastly, a ride. The ride is on the same beat as the kick, but it's in double time. When it comes to processing, we have this reverb on the claps and also this EQ taken out the low end. And on the ride, we have a kick start without it and with it. As you can see, the kickstart is creating side chain, which is ducking that first hit and causes a lot more bounce and movement. Pro tip, if you have more than one drum loop, it means you might have opposing grooves. You're gonna to want to quantize all of them but one. You then wanna extract the groove and apply it to all of the drum layers. So that means all the top loops, claps and hats, but leave the kick as is. So as you can see here, this loop has been quantized. So just double click it and click quantize. This then makes every hit on the beat. You then wanna to go to the top that you're keeping the groove from, double click, click extract groove. This will then extract the groove and then it will take it to your groove pool and then you can apply it to all of the drum layers. Now let's move on to the pad. If we have a look at the notes, the bottom notes are the exact same as the bass. We have then layered it with a fifth on top of that. We're in the scale of E minor. For the sound itself, I've used Wavetable. All I did was use this Abilene Winter Pad, which is a preset, and I turned off Oscillator 2. I use a lot of presets in my production. I mainly use the Synth Serum. If you're interested in sick UK Garage presets, check out my UK Garage Volume 2 preset pack, or get my bundle while it's still on sale. As over 100 sim presets and insane drums for making UK Garage. Now let's move on to the bass. As you can see, the MIDI is the same as the pad, but it doesn't have that fifth note on top and it has a rhythm to it. Sound design. I've made the bass sound in Serum, which is the best synth for making electronic dance music. In Oscillator A, I have a saw wave. In Oscillator B, I also have a saw wave, but this one is pitched down an octave. If you have a look at envelope one, this is controlling the level. So as the note hits, the level increases. As you can see, envelope one has a really long decay, which means that the note is played out for much longer. If we have a look at envelope two, it's attached to the filter cutoff. So when the note hits, the filter opens and creates that plucky sound. If I were to exaggerate this, if we have a look at the effects, all we have is this reverb. I've then got this kick start. It's side chain to the kick and means the kick punches through the mix and ducks the bass down. Lastly, we just have the vocal. This has just been ripped from the original track using la 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 AI. Great guys, thank you very much for watching. Please comment down below which video you want to see next.